Detective Wilden returns, Spencer follows in Mona's footsteps, and let's not forget about our very special guest star, Olympic gold medalist, Missy Franklin. Heather here to give you my take on last night's episode of Pretty Little Liars, so if you haven't seen Will the Circle Be Unbroken yet, this is your official spoiler alert. Spencer is so over it, and I don't blame her. Finding your ex-boyfriend's dead body would be enough to send anyone over the edge. How long before you think she realizes Toby isn't dead after all? Of course, Spencer's stay at Radley isn't the restful therapeutic break from A she was hoping for. In fact, it's pretty much the opposite. She meets the real Elam and gets some dirt from him on Toby and Mona and maybe some other staff member that was helping them out. Meanwhile, Hannah and her mom are freaking out about Wilden's disappearance, but not for long because guess what? Wilden is back. So who was the dead guy in the forest? then. There's no way it was Toby. So now I'm going to go with Jason, since he just all of a sudden disappeared and we know A has sent texts on dead people's behalf before. But back to Wilden for a sec. He's determined to get his car back. My guess is because he wants to destroy the evidence. Too bad it's at the bottom of the lake. And Arya tries to help Ezra land a job. Her parents are willing to help out, but is it for the right reasons? Could Ezra and Maggie get back together? Arya's not just relying on her parents to help though. She's doing her part too. But she might be making things worse. Telling the principal that she and Ezra are not a couple just means they will have to keep it secret again. Sounds like deja vu to me. And of course we have to talk about that little cameo by Olympic gold medalist Missy Franklin. I gotta say, even though it was super random, it was pretty cool to see her all dolled up sans swim cap. Anyways, not much to chat about this time, but let me know what you thought of this episode. If it wasn't Wilden's body in the forest, whose was it? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next week.